Within each Revit family, it's then possible to create a number or multiple types. A type is a subset of a family that contains specific variables that make it unique from each other type of that family. Within the project, you then place an individual instance of that type. So this is an individual instance of the door type 810 width by 2110 height. And this type is contained within the family doors concept external single. Instances and types have associated properties. Type properties can be accessed by selecting on the instance of the element and selecting edit type. These are the properties that will be associated to the type and therefore will update all instances of that type. If I take a look at this window instance here, it is of type 2200 width by 1150 height of the family windows concept plane single. If I right click to select all instances in the entire project, I can see that there are a number of them on this front elevation. If I select the window and select edit type, if I change one of these type properties or type parameters, let's say the rough height, I will change it to 1300. When I click apply, this has now changed all the instances of that type because I changed the type property. I'll change it back so that the rough height matches the type name and I can see how all the windows have reduced in size of that same type. So those are type properties that are applicable to all instances of that type. Instance properties or parameters are found within the properties palette and these are unique to that individual window or element. These include properties like the level that the window is associated to, the sill height and other parameters. So for example if I change this sill height to 800 millimeters, this window is the only window that has been affected because I am changing the instance properties of this specific window. It's very important to understand the difference between types and instances and how it applies to families in order to create efficient families and scheduling. So you'll want to consider what properties you want to be type or instance based depending on the specific needs of your project. Now that you have an understanding of the structure of families in Revit, from categories all the way down to instances, let's begin to create our own family from scratch.